In this video, we're gonna go over exactly how you can profit off of the bank collapse happening right now. We are in a bear market and the banks are just getting lower. Two banks just collapsed, the Signature Bank and the Signature Valley Bank. These are two major banks. They aren't the largest banks, but to put that into perspective, the total assets of the two failures in 2023 amount to 87.6% of the total assets from the 25 failures of 2008. The 2008 housing crash is almost equivalent to the banks that just collapsed right now. That is how much trouble we're in. But don't worry, you can make money because you follow this channel. You are an excellent trader because you've been following our callouts. And now we're going to go over how you can actually make more money in the stock market. Make sure to like the video so that other traders like yourself can actually profit in the stock market instead of losing money. You'll be doing them a huge service and it doesn't cost you anything. So congrats to NGAX. NGAX is actually not a stock. That's actually a trader in our pro group. He just made a first print trade on THMO. And before we get into what he took, uh, I want to announce that Switzerland Central Bank actually said Wednesday it was ready to provide financial support to Credit Suisse after shares in the country. Second biggest lender crashed as much as 30%. So essentially, we are now starting to see some support in the whole bank stock crisis, okay? So even though things are bad, the banks are now starting to receive support from the government, okay? From the Swiss National Bank, which is you know a very large bank as well. So some of these larger banks are gonna help out some of these smaller banks. And that basically means that the safety net is activating, these stocks can start to rebound, okay? Nothing is guaranteed, which is why I'm gonna go over exactly how you can plan out your trade on stocks like SVB. Well, not SVB anymore, because that's gone. Uh, but WAL, which is my top bank stock, by the way, my top bank stock play, which we're going to go over along with the top stocks that I'm actually going to be trading along with WAL. And as you know, if you follow the channel, those stocks are always the best. ARLO up 15%, RLX up 25%. We just traded a 50% short squeeze today on March 16th. And congrats to NGAX. That's our trader who just joined pro today, who made $3,655. He made three months rent. He made a year of groceries. He made a car purchase within one trade in pro on his first day. And he was notified by me when to close his position. THMO closed 90% at $6.15 after buying in at around $5 and some odd cents. THMO, huge short squeeze play only in in pro notified in advance we are printing in a bear market are you ready for our next live trading event so first of all you can join pro in the link below but we're also going to have a new trading event next week and this is going to be super fun because not only are you going to be able to trade with me your day trading coach side by side but you'll also be able to watch me if i lose a trade I take the Pocky One Chip Challenge. You will actually see me die if I lose a trade. But you know what? I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. I'm not gonna die today, or at least I'm not gonna go down without a fight. We're gonna do some live day trading. If I lose a trade, I take the Pocky One Chip Challenge. Sign up for free below. Do not miss it, because even if you don't like trading, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So WAL. 316 okay march 16th that is today by the way that is my top bank play so let's go over how we can trade it as well as my top stock we got a lot of great stuff i always have a lot of great stuff for you guys as you know and now we're gonna do some trading together okay let's go to the technical charts Here's our friend WAL right here, WAL Western Alliance Bank Corp. This is my bankruptcy play, all right? <laughs> Excuse the pun, but this stock is essentially the Western Alliance Bank Corp stock. So this crashed along with the other bank stocks because traders are scared, right? Investors are scared. They're moving their money to larger banks like Chase and WAL is actually went down from $60. So let me actually show you on the chart. This stock actually went from a high of about $60, or actually it was $76 and it went to a low of $7. So it went down 90%. 
So it's serious, serious stuff, right? People invest in banks thinking they're going to be very stable. As you can see, the stock hasn't been moving much. Anyone who invested in the stock, you know, it's like $72. Um, it went up to $76.90 within about eight trading days, which is an increase of only about 3%, which is really nothing in terms of fluctuation. And yet one day, everyone who invested in WAL found that they were down 90%. Imagine how scary that is. Nothing is guaranteed in training. If I can teach you how to brave the uncertainty and actually make money, this is why we are day traders. We are not swing traders. We are not like moon market. We are not like alpha status stocks. We are day traders. We are trading the safest possible plays. We're never going to wake up to a 90% drawdown because we're not holding overnight on these risky plays. We are getting in and out at safe levels so that we can guarantee our profit, okay? This is not financial advice, it's for educational purposes only, but in terms of how we can trade WAL in the future, there's a few awesome profit targets here. I personally wouldn't hold WAL overnight because that can be seriously dangerous. You can trade it in the pre-market, but I wouldn't hold it overnight just because bad news can come out on the stock and the stock can dump and Stop losses do not work overnight. So rule number one, if you're going to trade this stock, don't hold it overnight, okay? Don't hold it overnight unless you need to gamble, in which case you probably don't want to be a part of this channel because we don't really gamble. We take educated risks. And if we take an informed risk, then we can make money a good 70, 80, even 90% of the time. It's just how we make so much money on this channel. So don't hold this stock overnight. It's not a risk that I'm willing to take. And therefore, if you want to make money, you shouldn't take that risk either. Then the second rule is if you trade this stock, make sure to sell most before $40. Okay, so sell most before $40. Okay, and don't pay more than $35 for the stock. Okay, I, I'm personally looking to get this stock. And let me actually write the name on it now. So I'm personally looking to get WAL. Okay, if possible, if it holds the level anywhere from $30 to at most $32. So $30 to $32 entry. Okay, and that's only if it holds the level, meaning that if this stock goes to about $27, then I'm out. Okay, so I'm going to put that as well. $27 stop loss is where I'm putting my stop loss. I, I don't want to see this stock pull back to $30 and then just dump, okay? I want it to come to $30 or $32 and then kind of go sideways or even just start going up from there. So that's what, that's the kind of price action that I want to see on WAL in order to make money for it. And as you guys know, I've called out over 100 short squeezes within the past year. I've called out over 100 short squeezes. Most recently, I called one out today on THMO. And that short squeeze went from, uh, well, it was about $4 and it went all the way to $6.58 within 15 minutes. So that we now have, you know, almost 115 short squeezes that we've called out, uh, that I've called out within the past year. So make sure that you take note of the trades that I'm taking and that you're subscribed to the channel and make sure that you're part of the Discord because you don't wanna miss these short squeezes. They're time sensitive. If you miss them, you miss them. And all of the trades that I take are in the pro community. So make sure to click that link to join as well. So WAL from $30 to $32, stop loss at $27, take profit at $33.48, $35, Oh, one or really thirty four ninety nine right before thirty five dollars and then thirty seven sixty three. OK, those are my main profit targets. And I have one more for if the stock goes parabolic at forty four dollars and eighty seven cents. If you use options and scalp options, yes, you can make even more money with a leverage play and you can easily double your money on this play. But be careful. I don't recommend trading options. Options are extremely risky and I highly recommend that you just trade the stock itself if you're going to trade it. And that's just my opinion, not financial advice. Now, WAL is the stock which you can trade as a bankruptcy play, as the bank collapse play. But if you're looking to trade another stock, another stock that me and the pro traders are trading, which may be even better than WAL, then you want to take a look at ELEV, ELEV. So this ELEV stock, okay, this is on uh, March 15th, which I'm announcing this. So March 15th, ELEV. 
trading it. All right, we are trading this and we are trying to buy it around $2. So I wanna get an entry of anywhere from 180 to $2.10 at the most. I may have to pay more for it than that, but I really don't wanna pay more than $2.15 for my shares of ELEV. Remember, this is a day trade and it's only good once. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel or at least if you're just gonna take this trade, make sure that you follow this trade only for the next trading day, which is March 16th, okay? And in terms of how I would trade it, okay, this is how I would trade it, not how you have to trade it. I would get in around $2, as close to $2 as possible, and then I would sell shares at $2.19, $2.32, $2.48, and $2.76. So those are the levels where I would sell my ELEV. Personally, I would close most of my ELEV at $2.48. Okay, so 248 is my main profit target. Not saying it's gonna hit it for sure, but it's my main profit target, meaning there's a good chance that that could be hit. In fact, there is a 40% chance that that profit target will be hit tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that and I'll be sure to update you on the Discord. Make sure that you join the Discord down below. There's literally no downside risk. March 15th, ELEV. 248 main profit target, trying to enter between 180 and $2.10. Will not buy the stock if it's in a downtrend and looking to make a good chunk of change on ELEV. Guys, you have my top stock. You have WAL. You are printing. Make sure to join our pro discord if you're interested in learning from me and getting all of my trades. ELEV is just the tip of the iceberg. THMO, which went up 50% in one day today, that's just the tip of the iceberg, my friend. I call out short squeezes almost every single trading day and only my pro members are notified. If you are not a pro member, you will not get access to all of my short squeeze trades. How much money have you lost already by not signing up See you guys in the pro discord. Okay, our superpower as day traders is we don't have to trade. So if Powell's giving a speech and that's causing the market to dump, we don't have to trade when that happens. Or what I like to do is actually allow the stocks to bleed out. And by the way, JNCE around 147, that's a potential entry right there around 147. Okay. Right there, boom, there it goes. Take it off. It's at 150 already. If it breaks that, then I can see this thing coming up to 154 easy. Here we go. There we go. Boom, 158 right there. Everyone saw it, right? <laughs> go ahead and get set yourself. Hurry up. Uh, you don't want to miss the, um, the jump. It's already jumped up to 163. Okay. Uh, and then if you, yeah, obviously, if you guys got in already, then cool. If not, sell a profit. All right. Because you're talking to like one guy in the world who can call short squeezes before they happen. Um, that's why there's so many people in the pro group, even though I only started my channel about a year ago. Uh, so make sure that you guys join that. It's like mandatory for any new trader to join the pro group because it's, it's the fastest way they can learn how to trade professionally from one of the best traders in the industry.